Good morning, everybody. Dwayne Lazar, Triple Nickel Trapper. January 29th, uh, 2017. It's Sunday. And let's go check some traps. We're right at this uh, cubby here. Cubby slash bait station. And nothing in here at all. Can you see any traps in there? Yeah, they're hitting really well. There's four of them in there. So nice out, they're not going to be taking these baits until it gets... Next week is supposed to be double digits below zero, so... They'll get hungry. And this little thing here, I've had the bait in the trap three days in a row. Nothing today. So you got that little leg hold right in front. I don't know, can you see that? I was going to make that up differently, but... If he's not stealing it... Next time he does that, I'm going to put a muskrat thigh on that trigger, and then that'll be it for Mr. Weasel. See him, like Danny says, see him weasel out of that. I just walked in here before. There's fox tracks in here. So they were in here. I'll show you what I did over here. I actually had my fisher trap robbed last night. So I went and wired another muskrat on there. Nice and close to the jaws. And you see there's a staple in the back there, a fencing staple holding that trap in place. So when it springs, it'll come this way. It'll get on his body. And keep those weasels off. I put a little muskrat thigh on there, put some straw underneath to keep it from freezing. Although I'm not too worried about it freezing. There's a really good track going through the bush there. If they come tomorrow again. Boy, that looks like a fisher track. Huh. I might put a power ram in there tomorrow if it's continuing. And a little mink box over here. I see the bait in there is getting chewed on, but they're not trying to pull it out. It must be frozen to the box. Oh well, like I said, they'll get hungry. Beautiful day. If I wasn't so lazy, I'd go back in there, but look at all the trees laying sideways. It's hard walking through that. And after that chase with the wolf, I got my uh, runners on again today because I'm uh, taking it easy on myself. like to take this minute here to say hi to a couple of my fans Dixon and Jackson Kabatov this shows for you today guys hope we catch something I'll see you at the next bush hi we're at that next bush figured I'd get nice and close here and show you deer walking in here there back behind me there's some uh, dog tracks too so deer though lots of deer Man, I don't want to catch a deer. Those power rams will actually hold a deer. Depending where you catch them, I guess. Oh, this little cubby. Huh? Did we get him? Nope. Pulling the bait out again. Oh well, we'll reset. Toss that back in there. Oh man, they pulled them both right about, just about out. Oh well, at least they're coming still. Power ram still here. Deer tracks too. Huh. 
I said yesterday the crows were here, but what I meant was the ravens. Those raptors, those magpies and ravens play hell with all this. Looks like a little weasel was here though, eating last night. You should go to that box and leave my traps alone. Look at the weasel all over in here last night. Hmm. I don't see the snare. Oh yeah, it's still there. Okay, that snare is still there. Dog track right in front of it. And on that side of it. So it's probably a little fox jumping right through it. Oh well. Sooner or later he'll mess up. Drag his foot or something or... Okay, I'm gonna see you at the next bush. All right, here we are at bush number three. Four if you count uh, the sets in my yard. I got a half a dozen in there too. It's actually where I caught the badger and the fox. Check these two power rams in here. Eventually I'm gonna wanna bring a, uh, some kind of bait station in here. Just for scent appeal. Still sitting there waiting. I don't want to get too close to this one. But yeah, the trap is right in there. The snare. You can see the power ram in the trees there. I try to hide them. As you can see, they do come through here. They'll be back. I'll just raise that up a little bit. And a better chin stick. That would have been a good one. Pull the snare back where you want it. And chin, snick, chin stick it. That keeps her chin up and puts her head through the snare because you don't want them. I had a fox a couple years ago hop through and get caught around the waist. He was dead when I got there. But it's not a good policy to catch him anywhere but around the head neck shot. Let's get out of here. We'll go to that bush that the uh, he caught the wolf a couple days ago in. Well, we're back in that bush where uh, we had that wolf the other day. I don't expect anything here. I'm pretty sure he would have scared the bejesus up. Well, there's deer going through. Nothing in that snare. I can't imagine the commotion that he caused tearing that ground up like that. Nothing here. Still got bait there. See if anything's running up that tree or not. Oh yeah. Little footprints all the way up. Actually, they're not that little. Raise that jaw up a bit so he has to jump through there. Maybe hit the trigger. What do we got here? A couple more boxes and that's it, no? Nothing there. And looks like somebody fell for this one. Yeah, this is a good spot though. They live in this rock pile. That won't be the last one I catch here. See the magpies are here too. But nobody picked him apart, that's good. He's almost got that bait right out too. There you go, Dixon and Jackson. We didn't get stunk out today. I'll tell you what everybody, I wasn't planning on trapping this year. And the line that I have out right now is a pretty lazy line. 
The other day chasing that wolf in the bush, I saw so much sign in my trap line back there. I think I'm going to go home today, get my skidoo going, and get back in the bush. Get some real trapping going instead of this from the road in the truck. Although I got to say, it is nice having a warm-up shack everywhere I go. I got that all bent to hell. We'll straighten that out. And ready for the next one. Put this in my pocket. Nice little weasel. Look at that. He didn't know what hit him. Very humane. All right, let's keep moving forward. We got about a dozen more traps to check. I'll see you at the... Oh, I checked those two snares, there's nothing. Thought you might like to see some of the roads I gotta go down. And this is all me, nobody else ever in here. For some reason, that picture looks awful blurry. Hopefully it won't be like that when I uh, play it. Yeah, I thought you might like to see Speed, you ain't getting down here with a Mazda. I'm gonna shut you off and we'll check those traps at Bougie's and call it a day. Well, we're back at the ravine here. There's nothing in those two power rams along the road. Huh. I don't see any tracks following my tracks in. Nothing there. Gate looks good, facing south so it gets some sun on it. A little stinky. Oh yeah, Dan O'Connell, that uh, bale on the back of my truck is not for weight, just so you know. <laughs> huh. Pretty quiet. Pretty quiet. Trap we reset yesterday is uh, still sitting there. Well, I hope this is coming through. I, uh, it looks dirty on this side. I guess we'll see when we get back to the truck. Well, something decided to try that last night. He got a piece of meat, but... I'll pause it and make it up again. All right, we made that up again. The reason I got that stick in the spring there isn't to uh, anchor the trap. It's to keep the bottom jaw from hooking the tree when they do spring it. They'll be back. Like I said, it's going to be cold next week. They'll be hunting these boxes down. They know they're here and they know they're full of food. And it takes a lot less energy for them than hunting. Nothing there. Still a nice big chunk of bait in the back. Whoa. Slippy. That one's still all set up. They're not bothering with that one either. They will. These are still sitting here. Still got bait. Yeah. Oh well, that's it for the day. Hopefully I can get that skidoo going and get some traps out tomorrow or the next day. Out in the deep bush and we can catch some some animals. All right, everybody, that's it for today. Keep moving forward.